Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and today I'll be grilling up some chicken with Alabama white sauce. Well, the star of the show today is this Alabama white sauce made famous by Big Bob Gibson in Decatur, Alabama. It's a really delicious sauce, a barbecue sauce unlike any you've had before or any in its category because that category stands alone. A white sauce based in mayonnaise and vinegar. Now there's a lot of different ways you can go with that and we'll get into that here in a minute because I did put my spin on it. But before we get into that, let's talk about the chicken. This chicken's really simple. And I'm going to start by saying that there's really no bad time for you to be cooking on a Weber kettle. I think everyone needs to spend some time on a Weber kettle. It's a fantastic grill. It's a staple of the grilling community. But with tailgating season coming up, there's no better time to be brushing up on your kettle skills. So next time you hit the parking lot, you knock it out of the park. All right, we're going to start by firing up a chimney of charcoal to get our fire starters going. For the chicken, I'm going to be taking a whole bird and breaking it down into pieces and then we'll cook them individually on the grill. I'm going to start off by spatchcocking this bird, which means we're going to remove the backbone. So I'm just working my knife along the side of the backbone and pressing all the way down. And I'll do the same thing on the opposite side of the backbone. You can of course do this with uh, shears if you like, poultry shears make for pretty easy work as well. And then on this side we can just kind of cut right through. A nice sharp knife makes easy work. Now right there I'm going to press the knife down. That allows us to split this breast open. And then once we've got this bird spatch cocked, I can go ahead and take off the leg and thigh quarters. So we'll just come in alongside the breast. And that peels right off of there. And I'll show you guys from this side as well. So just right along where the breasts are in that crevice there, easy work. I think I'll go ahead and leave these breast bone in today. So all we really have to do is cut right down through that breast bone. And then I'm going to remove these wings. So you'll work your way in until you can see a joint and cut right around and through that joint. So same thing on this side, just going to cut down along the wing. You'll find a joint right in there, work your way right through that joint. Really easy. Now right here if you want to you can go ahead and remove this rib section because we're not going to be getting any meat off of that. So there's our deconstructed bird. If you wanted to, you could even take the leg and thigh apart and cut the breast in half. Those are for more like single portion servings. You get a good eight servings out of those, but I'm going to cook them whole today. For the seasoning, we're going really simple today. We're going to use our noble smoke salt. We've got the cherry wood smoke salt today and an equal amount of coarsely ground black pepper. So a little smoke, a little pepper, and a little bit of saltiness and that's it. Put a little bit of lemon juice down on our chicken first. This will kind of help as a binder, as well as a drizzle of olive oil. We can kind of rub all that around. So we'll brighten it up with the citrus a little bit. A little extra fat on the outside always helps the seasoning stick. And then we're gonna go pretty liberal with our S&P. Start flipping our pieces over so we can season the opposite side. And then once again, we're going to hit it with a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of olive oil. That might have been a touch more than a little bit. We'll run with it. All right. Smoke, salt, and pepper. Nice, generous coating. 
make sure we didn't miss any sides. All right, let's let that set up. We'll go check on our chimney of charcoal. All right, looks like our coals are right where we want them. Red hot all the way to the top. I'm gonna dump these out and bank them to one side of the grill. Let me just get this spread out so that we've created a nice direct cooking zone as well as an indirect cooking zone. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the grate on so it can preheat as well. We're gonna be cooking fairly hot today. I'm gonna to go about half, maybe two thirds of the way open on the top and right about the same on the bottom. The grate's preheated now. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some wood chunks on so we get a little extra smoky flavor on our chicken. We're just gonna place some small chunks of hickory right down here on our coals. I think two is gonna be plenty for lots of smoke flavor. Now don't worry about that little bit of combustion you get right now because when we put the lid back on here, it's gonna kind of snuff that out and these will smoke rather than just straight up burn. Great sizzle on the grates there. That's exactly what we want. All right, let's get this lid on here. So this should be a fairly quick cook. You're seeing some smoke come out of here, which is great. We're gonna infuse that smoke flavor with the chicken. But what we're looking to do right now is get some really great color, and then we're gonna flip our chicken over, get some great color once again, move it off to indirect heat to finish cooking. Now for that Alabama white sauce. In its purest form, it's really just mayonnaise, vinegar, salt, and pepper. But of course, over the years, people have made their own variations to improve upon the sauce, if you will. Uh, and I've done the same thing. In fact, I started off with Big Bob Gibson's recipe. It's not hard to find if you're looking for it. Uh, and I made a few tweaks myself just to make it my own and to make it fit my palate and what I really enjoy. So for you guys out there, I want you to try and mess around with it a little bit. Do whatever you want with it. Please don't holler at me if I did it wrong because I just did it the way I enjoy it. So we're gonna start this thing off with one cup of mayonnaise. I'll add to that six tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. White vinegar may be even more common, but I really enjoy the apple cider vinegar. Next, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of mustard. You guys know how much I love this house of Q. You guys can use your favorite. Then we want two teaspoons of hot sauce. We're using the Killer Hogs hot sauce today. And last, I'm gonna throw in one teaspoon of horseradish. Now this gives it a little extra funkiness and just a little extra kick. So let's whisk it all together. You guys will be able to see the viscosity of this pretty soon here. That's another thing that ranges widely when it comes to the Alabama white sauce, just like the color of it will, depending on what people put in it. At its thinnest, it's almost like skim milk, or you know, it could be as thick as like a thick buttermilk ranch or something like this. This is somewhere in between. So I like this viscosity because you can dunk your chicken into it and it coats the outside, but it's not too much. I'm just gonna finish this off with a touch of salt and a little bit of black pepper. Perfect, I love it. It's rich, it's got that vinegar bite to it, just the tiniest touch of heat and a little bit of sweetness because we use that apple cider vinegar. Right on. Woo! Let's see how we're doing here. Oh yeah, some nice browning going on on the bottom there. Yeah, I'm gonna rotate those around just a little bit. Good. I think we could cook just a little bit faster here, so we're gonna go ahead throw the lid on and then we'll just open this all the way up. And then if we take our airflow exit, spin it all the way around to the other side. Now what we've got is air coming in from the bottom right through our chicken and out. So that's where the air is moving the fastest. That's where it's moving the hottest. If I spun it back around to the other side, slows things down just a little bit. 
since we want to hurry up this process of caramelization on the outside, I'm going to move it to right above the chicken. Now once you get your chicken flipped over to the skin side, really start to pay attention because that skin side has a lot of fat in it. And it's going to start dropping that fat, which is going to come right back in the form of a flare up, which is great. It gives us some great color, it gives us some great flavor, but you don't want to let that go too far. So there's some really great browning without taking it too far. Our chicken's finishing up here. These thighs have come up to about 170, which is just right. And our breasts here are creeping up on 155. I'm gonna give them just a couple more minutes. Well, it's really simple to finish these things off. The way I like to do this is take your chicken, dunk it in your sauce, and it's ready to serve. Like we said before, this sauce has just the right viscosity to coat the surface without being too thick. All right, let's dig in. Ooh, pulling away just right. Mm. I love charcoal cooked chicken. Just such a classic flavor. The brightness and the tanginess from that white sauce is beautiful and the mayonnaise makes it so rich. I mean, I really mean it. You make your sauce at home, you take your chicken to the tailgate, no one else is gonna have anything like this. You'll be killing it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to thesauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.